The violence did not end with Herod. Herod was a despicable ruler, power-hungry, killed at least three of his own household to keep himself in power. But it did not end with Herod. For generations, the quest for power and riches have wreaked havoc upon the children of the world. Responsible for wars, poverty, and all sorts of human suffering. I've suddenly realized over the last few years why it is I think that people like to start listening to Christmas music so early in the year. I think it's because the world is a hard place. And Christmas music takes us back to a place when we were children, when life was simpler, when there was security and peace and love and happiness and presence and lights and trees and in the South, if we're lucky, a little snow. <laughs> But it was a time of joy. And when the world is so hard, why not joy? But on this last day of Christmas, the church takes us back to the reality of the world that we can't just stay with happy memories of a little baby in a manger. The world does not have the same values as God. The world is different than the kingdom of God. And so the world quest for power, for riches, brings upon suffering that not even the anguished cries of mothers begging for the lives of their infant children can stop the viciousness, the hostility, and the agony. Some of you may be familiar with Rudyard Kipling, who collected a series of stories from India that he compiled in a book called The Jungle Book. It was published four years before this beautiful worship space was built here in Portsmouth. In one of the stories, he talks about some monkeys, a particular kind of monkey called the Banderlong. They were chattering monkeys who lived in the Sioni jungle, right in the center of the nation of India. He records in the jungle book what they chatter about. And these are their words. We are great. We are free. We are wonderful. We are the most wonderful people in the jungle. We all say so. So it must be true. The chattering of the successors of Herod continue to this day. Chattering which brings suffering to the children of this world. God has chosen whom he favors. The poor, the suffering, the afflicted, refugees, prisoners, those who the world has forgotten. As the chattering goes on, Mary sings her song, the song of praise to God which says, the mighty are cast down from their thrones and the Lord has lifted up the lowly. The world makes its choice every day. A choice for power, a choice for riches, 
a choice for fame, a choice which brings suffering. Mary sings the song of God's kingdom. The only question for us is, which kingdom will we choose?